hello friends welcome back to this channel so hope everyone is fine so let's start this video on that note so this is week 5 assignment of internet of things course so friends uh, please watch the video till the end because if you skip the video you may miss some content or if I change any or modify any solution in between the video you may not be able to note that so do watch the full video so let's see the first question suppose that an IOT sensor node A works on wireless Wi-Fi and senses pressure as physical parameter and node B operates on Zigbee and senses humidity as a floating point uh, number so in this context which of the following correctly describe the issues with deployment guys actually for first question so for A and B so it works on Wi-Fi and it's Zigbee and it senses humidity and it's sorry it senses pressure actually pressure and it senses humidity so when we compare these two it comes under heterogeneity and when we compare these two it may come under interoperability so I think both option C is the correct answer guys I am not sure about the first question exactly and for remaining questions I am sure uh, that they are correct but uh, I think for first question C may be the answer guys you can please uh, if anyone know exactly please confirm it in the comment section and if I found, found any changes later I will update in the comment section I hope every question is probably correct only so for first question I, I think C may be the answer and moving on to the second question restful web services are utilized for so they are utilized for syntactic interoperability for device interaction so mark option A moving on to the third one which UMB interoperability component is responsible for converting physical devices into virtually abstracted ones so for third question the correct answer is option A UMB adapter adapter acts as a bridge between these two so mark option A and moving on to the fourth question user interoperability is the interoperability problem between an user and dash so it is between user and a device Desi uh, device interoperability means between two devices but user interoperability means between user and a device already they gave an user so the other term is device so mark option B and moving on to the fourth uh, I mean fifth question fourth already completed so fifth question which of the following is an open global multi-sector standard for efficient accurate flexible classification of products and services so for fifth question the correct answer is option B UNSPSC so mark option B as correct answer for fifth question and moving on to this next one that is sixth question what does the routing component in UMB core use for routing the metadata messages so for routing the metadata messages we use middleware routing table so the answer is option C and moving on to the seventh question which among the following are components of an Arduino UNO board you know board so we know that LED power indicator is a component 
digital IO pins and analog input pins also components only so the answer is option D all of these and moving on to the eighth question the tool used to select a particular comp port for connecting Arduino to a serial connector is called a sketch actually sketch is a code or a program it's a program actually it's a program sketch is a program but it's not a tool so the given statement is false so mark option B as correct answer for 8th equation so option B is the correct answer for 8th one and moving on to the ninth question which kind of conflict occur when different processing logic are applied to same IOT network devices or applications so for ninth question the answer is option a semantic conflict so mark option a as correct answer for ninth question and next question the tenth one which of the following is true for the sketch command give, given below delay of 3000 if we give uh, if we divided it by thousand then we will get in terms of seconds so thousand three times so three seconds is the answer so mark option B moving on to 11th one how many types of loops will you find in Arduino programming guys actually it's tricky because uh, there is for loop for loop while loop and do while loop and there are mentioned other things also that is nested loops infinity loops but I think only these three are the types of loops because nested loop is a loop within a loop so it is not considered as a type of loops so uh, without considering these two only three types of loops are possible guys if you can please uh, confirm it in the comment section so I think option C3 is the answer so friends before submission uh, I mean before the deadline once again visit the comment section to note uh, any updates are available or if any modifications are there so I hope there will be no necessity arrive uh, to change the solution but if any case you can please visit once again to just confirm it moving on to 12th question how many digital IO pins are there in Arduino you know so for 12th question the correct answer is option A 14 there are 14 digital IO pins so mark option A moving on to the 13th question servo motors that you connect to Arduino are an example of so the servo motors are an example of actuators Some, so mark option B and moving on to the 14th one which of the following functions exist by default in Arduino IDE actually we have mentioned previously sketch sketch is divided into two parts one is setup and other one is loop actually there is no mentioning about any main main function here so I think uh, everything including main is wrong so the answer could be option C and moving on to the final question of this assessment that is 15th one choose the right option for if or conditional operator 
so the correct answer for 15th question is option a option a is the correct answer for 15th question so mark option a so friends these are the solutions for week 5 iot assignment so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share this video to your friends so for further more videos like this keep supporting our channel so until then it's goodbye thank you